Welcome back to X Snipes Gaming. Guys, we didn't have a terrible start last episode, 5, 3, and 2. We are currently sitting in the fourth place, tied with San Jose, tied with Anaheim. But once again, the Vancouver Canucks. We s beat them in the playoffs a couple seasons ago, and they just have been lining up since. And what about Arizona, 8-0-1? There's something in this game that I don't know about. I really want to figure it out to see how Arizona goes from bottom to top and Vegas goes from top to bottom just like that. But we'll see how this season goes. We are currently on, I believe, a two-game losing streak. McDavid, 10 points and 10 games leading a team like he should be. And, yeah, we are on a two-game losing streak, so let's go into this. Next simulation, 10 games, see if we could get out of that funk. We got Montreal, Dallas, LA to start it off. So that's five. And we'd be going up to Arizona on the 25th of November. We get a 5-1 loss to Montreal, 3-1 loss to Dallas. We need a couple wins here. And a 4-1 loss to LA. Wow. I have to try finding that like 87 overall already in the draft. Versus Florida, and we're back in the win column 5 3, 6 6 and 2 on the season. Vegas, 3 1 win. Calgary, 5 3 loss. Should have won that one. We got Boston in town, 2 1 loss to Boston. Ottawa's in town. And Marcus, I have no idea who you are. But I'm not. Let's go look at the player info. He is 28. Yeah, I know. I don't want him. First Ottawa, we get a 5-4 shootout loss. Bakersfield can go down the best lines down there. Oscar Clefbaum has been injured. Assistant coach can deal with that. We get a 4-3 overtime win. Can we beat San Jose? We get a 3-2 overtime loss. So that simulation we went three, five, and two. Not what I was hoping for. We did go on a four five game losing streak. McDavid still leading the way. Twenty five points or twenty three points in twenty games, sorry. I was looking at my phone. And we got Pooley R V eighteen, Dry Cell eighteen, Kajula ten, Yamamoto nine, Ethan Bear nine, so our two well, I guess they're not young anymore, but 25-year-old defensemen are finally going for it. Ethan Bears an 80 overall array. Wow. We got Larson at 7. We got our defense is producing points, actually. It's actually not that bad. Darnell Nurse, 3. Like, they have more than our fourth line does, besides Benning. Benning still doesn't have a point. But we'll go look at the goalies. We got Corey Snyder, 7, 5, and 4, and Malcolm Subban, so being a horrible backup. His save percentage isn't that bad. His goals against are iffy. We got a 9, 19 save percentage for Crawford. But what can you do? And we are going into another 10 games. We're currently sitting 5 points of the playoff spot now. See how quick that changes? Like, L.A. was bottom, like, lower than us. But we have lost in a shootout, won in overtime, and lost in overtime in our last three games. So let's do ten more games. Actually, we're going to make a huge lineup change. And I know people probably won't agree with me for this. If you're Oilers fans, you probably will. But we are going to move Leon Dreisaitl up to the top line. 90, 96, and 92. Pooley RV just going for it. We got Yamamoto. We're going to put Strom there. He's up. Yeah. And that's how it's going to go. Our defense is. We're going to put Caleb Jones up there to play. And Nurse is up to 84. There we go. He is rated a top four defenseman, top six, top six. We're going to have our rookies 
playing our top pairing. I know they're a bit older, but I didn't start them as early as I wanted to with all the good defensemen we were getting from trades. So we'll go three, five, and we'll just go up to the 17th. I think that's 11 games, but whatever. Against Arizona, we get a 4-1 win. Goaltending was superb in that. Assistant coach, because that's our fourth line. And we get a 4 nothing win. Eight goals in two games. Uh, let's go here. We're going to go five weeks. Then we're away in New Jersey, and we got some line changes that... We'll just go look who's scratched. We could put Clefbaum and that left wing in. So Garnett is coming out. You're back in the lineup and defensive wise you're coming out. Clef bomb back in. And that is how we're gonna have the lineups right now. These two can turn into ninety overalls with Clef bomb. That'd be pretty good for me. New Jersey we got a 5-4 loss. And that doesn't matter to us. Goal scoring was there. Goaltending wasn't. Boston, we got a 4-1 win. So we scored four goals, five straight with that 4-2 win. And a 7-4 win. That's six games straight with four more goals. We got a 2-1 win. We are Detroit's in town here. And Corey Schneider has been hurt. That's February. Wow. Okay, thank. I'm kind of thankful we have Hutchison down here. That hopefully he can do something up here. Wrong one. And we are going to put in Michael Hutchison. I think that's the turning point to our season. If. Uh, it could be best lines down there. Detroit, 4-2 win. Colorado, 3-2 loss. We're away in Vancouver and Vegas. Two important games. We need to win those games. We get a 1-0 loss and a 4-1 win. I'll take two points there. We started this 11 games. 8-8-4. Eight, eight, and four. We went 8-3. and three. I couldn't ask for more. We scored four goals in a lot of those games. But, you know what? Maybe putting Pooley RV Dry Saddle and McDavid together is working. And we jump up to third place in the Pacific. The tight Pacific division separated by 15 points. We're in the mix there. We got 42 points in 31 games by our captain, Connor McDavid. 37 for Pooley RV. We got 30 for Dry Saddle. Yamamoto has 17, Klepp on 15, Strom, Larson, Bear 14 each, 12 for good Jula, Mayer 10, so he's stepping up, Fasting has 9, Jones has 9, Nurse has 5, everyone has a point this season I believe besides Samarikov, but he's only played 3 games, I don't expect him to actually be up there in points as a defenseman, you know what, I'm having fun with this, we're on our in a winning way right now even though it's only one game win because we lost in Vancouver but we are gonna go 10 more and that's where I'm gonna leave it off we got three Vancouver's four five we will go you know what these two games are important we're gonna go up to 18th of December we got Anaheim we're in California we got 4-3 overtime loss I'll take that point Against Vegas, can we get a win? 4-2 win. Calgary, we need to beat the Pacific. 4-3 win. Vancouver, they're up. we're at home against Vancouver. We've been pretty good at home. And Bakersfield can go best lines down there. And Vancouver, we get a 2-1 overtime win. I'll take the extra point over Vancouver. Chicago, this is where we start our road trip here. Uh, we will go defenseman now for a month. We get a 2-1 overtime win. We're in Buffalo. We get a 3-2 shootout win. Montreal and Detroit back-to-back -back games. 6-3 loss and a 3-1 loss. Two losses there. I won't complain. Those are team hard teams to play. 
and we are going to assistant coach can put Garnett in there. Nashville, we get a 3 2 shootout loss. I'm not worried about our trading block. And then we get a couple days off here. San Jose is in town. That is one game we have to win because it's a Pacific Division game. And as you can see, Fassing has gone up to an 80. That's perfect. Hopefully, more of these guys can do the same. And what was I looking at? I have no idea. But we lose 3-1 to San Jose. 8-5 loss to Calgary. Wow. 2-1 um, win over San Jose. So we're sitting 22, 15, and 6. Can't complain about that. Connor McDavid has 51 points through almost just over half the season. We got 50 points. That's good for third place in the Pacific, but 11 points out of eighth is Golden Knights there. And we're only six points out of first. Uh, they've played two more games than us. We just lost more overtime games apparently against everyone in this division so putting I think putting McDavid dry side on Pooley Arby is working out for us McDavid 51 as I said he has 20 goals already Pooley Arby has 45 points dry settle 38 is there a reason why dry is not really up there I don't know, but Clefbaum, 21, he's averaging just over 0.5 points per game, which isn't bad for a defenseman. Larson is just under that. Yamamoto has 20, Ethan Bear, 20, Mayer, 17, Strom, 15, Kajula, 14, Fassing, 14, 9 for our fourth liners. Jones, we got 9, Burrow, we got 8, Nurse, 8, Benson, 7. We could try trading Benson if we want for a better first round pick but that is where i'm gonna leave you guys off at i hope you guys enjoyed this episode if you haven't left a like please do or subscribe i'm aiming for at least 10 subscribers a month this year that'd be golden for me if you guys want share this video with your friends get them to like it and i'll catch you guys on the next one